I know we've talked about just your offense as of late, but when you see just how well the bottom of the order has been performing offensively, how impressive is that from the group overall? Just what does that do to the line? Yeah, that's what we do. I feel like the organization has been uh, doing a um, great job uh, putting a lineup together. It uh, mm -hmm. doesn't matter who's, who they're throwing over there. Righty, lefty, we have a, a pretty good combination of guys that they can do, get the job done. Um, I mean, we all take pride of uh, being good hitters and trying to turn the line up over and be on base for the for our core. You know, like we all know that Mookie, Freddie, Willie, JD have been doing their thing. You know, and uh, we got a pretty good uh, top five. But at the end of the day, we gotta be a complete team to compete for what we want to do. You know, winning baseball games is not easy, and when you uh, when you have a big lineup, it's so much better for for everybody. So. Uh, I'm happy that we uh, continue to get on base for those guys, and that's why we see the results. You know, a lot of 100 uh, RBIs and stuff like that. It doesn't happen just because of them being good. You know, we all we all need each other to be a good team. Big team, just a little bit more power from your at bats. So, I know you talked about as of late, just feeling better, kind of going back to yourself mm -hmm. offensively. But when you think about just the power we've been seeing as of late, what do you really attribute to that? Yeah, I feel like I, I'm, I'm being more aggressive and giving myself an opportunity to be on the fastball mm -hmm. and get the head out front, especially with the within the first two pitches of the at bat. You know, uh, I think when I get to two strikes, I I I'm a player who uh, who take pride of not striking out, and I'm, I'm sure my swing up and trying to put the ball in play and all that. But uh, I feel like I'm getting to this point where I'm attacking the fastball and I'm I'm a little bit more aggressive to get to get the head of, of the ball out front, and it's been showing. So I, I'm gonna continue to do that without like uh, not thinking about uh, what what who I am as a player and. Uh, Hopefully they keep coming. What do you think sort of sparked that change in approach? Is it sort of how you were feeling with your swing, how healthy you were feeling? Mm -hmm. What do you think sort of sparked that for you? Yeah, I feel like the confidence uh, when you start getting a little bit more of results, you know, and you start seeing the ball falling a little bit more, and you're not like worrying too much about batting average or not getting hits every single day. Uh, you have to make sure that you get on base and you get a productive at bat, you know. Um, at the beginning of the season, I wasn't doing that, so I was like kind of like finding like who I was gonna be, you know, in the lineup and and uh, not not saying that uh, that I kind of lost myself, but uh, uh, I got a couple surgeries on my wrist early in the year, and I mean I couldn't I couldn't really do my like complete like full workout in the off season and. I mean, sometimes it takes time, you know. I'm happy that uh, that August and September have, have been like really good month to me, and um, I think I'm ready for what's coming. I mean, you guys are three games behind the Braves for, for the number one seed in the National League. Like, how, how important is it for me getting home field in the playoffs? Kind of for you guys? Yeah, I think it's uh, we're just gonna continue to play our game. You know, we're we're not like looking at the stand uh, at the standing way too much. Uh, we did it for a couple of days, obviously, because uh, we were looking to uh, clinch the division. But uh, all we do is take care of our business, winning every series. And like you guys see, we really take care of uh, our business, celebrate every series that we win, and that's what we co continue to do. Uh, um, I think we have three more series after this one, and we're looking for to win three, and then win three more so we can get a championship. So that's that's our goal. Our goal is to win six series. And I mean, whoever is behind us or ahead of us, we don't care about that. We continue to win series. Miguel, Eduardo is one of the best pitchers in the league this season, but it's no secret he didn't want to be here at the deadline. So, does that provide any extra motivation? And how were you guys able to have such success? No, I, I just feel like every everybody have different reasons and opinions about their own careers, and I respect their um, um, Eduardo's uh, opinion and, and reasons why he didn't want to come here. And, I mean, you have to respect that as a player, and you never know what's going what's going on on you know his life or whatever. And um, we we like I said, we we take care of what we can what we can control, which is our clubhouse, and and we just move on, you know. Ahead of the game, you guys did get to celebrate Miguel mm -hmm. Rivera. How special was that for you? It's pretty special because, uh, especially being a Venezuelan baseball player and uh, knowing what uh, Miguel Cabrera accomplished. The way he started his career really young and, and being able to be uh, 40 years old, 41 years old, I don't know uh, exactly how old he is right now, but uh, accomplished what he did his whole career. He deserved that, you know. Um, he, uh, he's been one of the best hitters in our generation and he's going to forever be uh, remembered as one of the best hitters to ever play this game. So I'm pretty happy that Miggy is uh, getting recognized by everybody, by everybody, not just us, but the whole league. Uh, he deserves it and I'm so happy and proud to be a Venezuelan because I know he's going to end up going to the Hall of Fame. And um, I'm happy uh, to say that Miguel Cabrera is my friend.